Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Close Combat, the Bloody First. In this video, we're not going to be continuing the campaign that we've played the first two battles of, in which we're still in Tunisia. In today's video, uh, we're going to be playing the uh, landings on Omaha Beach. Uh, Close Combat, the Bloody First came out yesterday, and I did a video on that. It was pretty well received, and I thought, you know what? Um, probably the most famous engagement that the First Division was involved in from a wide-scale understanding is D-Day. And if we do a full-blown series, it's going to take us months to get to D-Day. And I thought, hey, you know what? The game just came out. People are probably interested in seeing one of the battles that is a bit deeper into the campaign. And uh, why don't we just do it? Because we can't. Um, I don't know what my... my real quick, before we jump into D-Day, just a, a quick channel update. I have several videos that will be coming out over the next several days. Uh, there are other games that I want to do some first looks at. I don't think they will be out quite as topically as close to release. Another one of the games that just came out actually the day before yesterday uh, is a game called Warsaw, which is, I think, a game that looks at the uh, uprising in the, in the Polish capital against the Nazis in World War II. I don't know a lot about it, um, but I haven't had time to record something for it quite yet. And uh, as you're listening to this, I'll actually be on a plane flying out east. Uh, and uh, this weekend we'll be spending some time either at Sharpsburg or Gettysburg. I'm not quite sure all of the details of my plan. But uh, suffice to say, I'm going to be out of pocket for a few days. And, um, you know, depending on where I'm at, I may be tweeting about it. So you can follow over at Historical Gamer uh, over on Twitter. And, and I'll be tweeting kind of some of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, but, uh, that being said, uh, I do have a couple of videos that are recorded, so there should still be stuff that's coming up on the channel. I just won't be able to get to Warsaw, uh, until I get back, which unfortunately will be like a week after it releases, but, um, we'll do that. And then we may do some more close combat as well. But in today's video, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. We're not going to have a 10 minute intro or anything like that, like we did last time. We can see all the battles listed here. Uh, you can see quite a few Tunisian battles, Sicil Sicilian battles. And right here you have Omaha Beach. Omaha Beach. The Big Red One lands on Omaha Beach as part of Operation Overlord, the D-Day landings in France. They find the German defense stronger than expected. Again, the Big Red One was one of the two divisions that, I think it was two, that landed on the bloodiest beach on the Normandy invasions. And that's what we're going to be looking at here today. Chaos and confusion reign at Omaha Beach as dog, dogged, dogged enemy strongholds pin down the first wave. We might die if we advance, but if we stay on the beach, we will sh or we surely will. Uh, coordinate infantry and supporting tanks to clear an exit inland, anywhere. Find the enemy weak point and exploit it with concentrated fire and naval support. Exploit any break in the enemy line and rush through. This day, this hour, this moment is critical to the success of Omaha. Fighting first. Okay, so that's the uh, brief little intro there for the battle. We'll go ahead and close that. You can see here the force balance is relatively even. Reputation actually favors the Germans slightly. Strength, supply, fatigue, morale are all about even. Uh, air support and naval gunfire support are available for the Allies. The Germans have no off-map artillery, but that doesn't mean they might not have uh, some on-map mortars or something like that. Additionally, the Germans are dug in. Uh, it's partially cloudy. It's dry. It's 900 hours, June 6th, 1944 and it's Omaha Beach. Okay, so you can see how our main force is allowed 12 units. We have a couple of sort of side units that are that are set up here. Um, we have BAR teams, we've got scouts already pre-built for us. We have one M4A1 medium tank. We have two 30 caliber machine gun support units. If I can have more tanks, I would rather have more tanks. We could have 57 millimeter anti-tank guns. It doesn't look like I have any additional tank units that I can use. We have a 50 caliber uh, machine gun unit, 30 cal, 30 cal, BAR, assault teams. I don't see the need for that much support. What if we just, just filter by support? Is there anything else? Nothing else. Gosh, darn it. Honestly, the 30 cals are less valuable to me than the... Uh, uh, maybe I pull some units and put some mortars down. Let's pull 130 cal, bring a mortar in. Honestly, I just, I don't know what the third, I don't know how valuable the 30 cals are in this game. Mortars seem to be very valuable, so I'm going to pull in two mortar units. Uh, radio, unit receives command bonus from your company commander at all times. Well, we don't have a company commander on the map, so do we need one? Do we want to pull the third? Well, actually, I don't have another 30 cal on here. 
So I guess we'll just go with what we've got. All right, let's jump in and fight. Let's do this thing. D-Day, June 6, 1944. The first division lands on the shores of Omaha Beach, the bloodiest of the Normandy beachheads. All right, so here's the beach. It looks not so much like a beach. Oh, here's the beach. Oh, well, that's kind of lame. It's a beach, sure enough, but I had been hoping that we'd get, like, landing craft and we'd get, like, a Saving Private Ryan moment with the, with the ramp going down and the troops charging ashore. I thought the original Close Combat had that. But it doesn't look like it. So, yeah. So we're just... We're stuck on the beach with all the obstacles. There's pillboxes over here. Hopefully our tank doesn't get just demolished right away. I know some of you said, like, Oh, you need to switch into ambush mode right away. But we're the assaulting party in this case. So that probably isn't going to work. There's bunkers all over here. There's bunkers here. Machine gun bunker here. This might be a... a a direct fire bunker. I just, I don't know what the right... Part of me wants to just, like, load up heavy on the left side and try and overwhelm them on one point. I'm guessing they've got troops in these trenches here, but those trenches might actually provide good cover for our troops, although they are enfiladed here by this bunker here, can shoot right down the length of the trench. Honestly, I think, I think we're gonna, I don't know if this is wise don't know if this is wise put these guys back here it looks like they automatically take cover behind some of these beach obstacles we'll put this BAR team over here we're just gonna immediately try and and raise some of our troops off the map we'll go ahead and put our tank over here although I don't like the idea of its flank potentially being exposed to enemy guns and we're just gonna push all our troops forward here at the edge of the map I'm not too worried about holding easy red. I don't think the Germans are going to actually counterattack the objective. I think that unlikely. We'll put these mortars here a little bit further back in the rear, hoping that there's some cover here. Or that they won't get shot back here. Since there's no need to worry about, like, the tide rushing back in. And we're just going to stack up on the left. And again, we are going to expose our flank, presumably by advancing up the beachhead, but... It seems the best strategy to me is to, to kind of, maybe not actually, concentrating might be a bad recipe for success here. But it is what it is, and it's what we're going to do. So we'll keep our machine guns in here, and hopefully they can sort of protect our flank a little bit. And then we're going to just kind of sweep left, get to the high ground, get to the bunkers, and try and overwhelm the enemy. So... Can we just, like, select multiple units here? Whoa! That's a lot of fire coming down on these Germans right away. And actually, interestingly enough, we saw a bunch of enemy casualties. Why? Can I... Is there a way to, like... Oh, fuck. No! Cancel! Cancel! How do I undo that? Oh, shit. I really hope we don't drop artillery on our own men. That was a weird, like, I wanted to shift how the artillery was being aimed. That spotting round went long. I guess that's the only positive side. Is there any way for me to cancel this? Several of our units are already panicking. That's great. We can see here we don't have a lot of line of sight on much else in terms of enemy units. Presumably there's bunkers over here. We do see some tracers coming in on the flank over here. That looked like a direct hit. I don't know if it was the tank or something else firing. Whoa! There goes the artillery in a long line there. Fortunately away from our lines. More toward the rear than the front. Oh, that one might have been long. That might have been us. Landed behind our troops, fortunately. Alright, so maybe we're pinning them down with... With some... I don't know what... I mean, maybe... Maybe? 
What do you mean no clear path? Move this fucking way. Barrage available. I don't... I just... Whoa! Stop shooting, boys! Alright, let's move off the beach. Get off the beach! Move! Whoops. Get off the beach! Alright, so it looks like we did... Whoa, 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 whoa! What the shit? Why are those rounds dropping back on our rear? What the fuck? Is this naval gunfire support? Because this naval gunfire support sucks. It's landing right on top of my mortars. I didn't order anything to shoot there. Stop shooting! I didn't order anything back there. I don't want anything back there. Stop it. All right, so we've got other enemy units over here to the right. Holy shit, this rifle squad just got, like, knocked out by something. Or maybe it actually was a bad guy. Looks like it might have actually been a German unit that just got wiped. All right, how about you guys go and protect the flank and get in these trenches over here? All right, enemy infantry is moving to the moving along our flank. They're exposed across this open, open ground here. I ordered the artillery a little bit further back, hoping that it would hit more in this area. It is shooting a little bit long for my taste. We are taking fire from the flank. Not quite sure what. I'm guessing it's these bunkers here, which we're way the fuck far away from. I probably should just call the art, the uh, naval gunfire support in on the bunkers, eh? That would probably be the smart thing. Let's go ahead and move these guys to this tree line here. I'm trying to sort of turn the enemy flank. Gonna move this tank up this roadway. Moving up a roadway with a tank is probably not a smart thing. but it's what we're doing. All right, let's try and drop some mortars on these enemy bunkers here. Actually, smoke might be a better idea. Is that an option? I don't have a smoke option. That's one thing that kind of sucks. In the, in the close combat of Bridge Too Far, you could order your artillery units to drop smoke, which sure would be useful to, to block the enemy line of sight with some smoke. Way. 50 cal doesn't look like it's doing anything back here. Let's we'll move over this way. Platoon H. Oh shit. No, move there. Platoon HQ. Just hanging out in the rear like the good old officers. Whoa, you guys are going to get shot to pieces. Well, some of the infant some of the units have smoke, just not apparently my mortars, which that doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, move along there. Move this BAR unit along here, too. All right, you shoot over here. Does the tank actually have smoke? The tank does have smoke. Where are those tracers coming from? In this general vicinity? Oh, taking casualties, boys. The enemy is weaker than us, though. We have inflicted quite a few casualties on them. Right. We're going to drop air on these grenadiers over here, this machine gun post. We've got attacking target. Should be coming in here. Strafe this enemy machine gun nest. Whoa! You shot long. Fuck. God damn it, the shot. It overshot. I put it right in the middle of the target circle. Take these grenadiers out. Shut up. You can take it. Don't be a coward. Uh, 
Okay, still taking fire on the flank. Let's move these guys up and over. Maybe they're maybe we can get around these enemy troops here. Maybe this rifle squad over here on the left. We'll zoom in a little bit here. Wow, you can zoom in a little bit more than I thought you could. On a little Frank Winters moment, I want to be attacking like enemy artillery batteries and jumping through trench lines. And there's a little bit of that right here. All right, so we've got a base of fire. We're taking fire and, and sending fire down range here against these guys over in this direction. You know what? Screw that, you guys. Run. Move, move to these hedgerows fast. And then you're going to be hopefully in the enemy rear. Covered a little bit. This machine gun unit is broken and they're running. Where are you running to, men? You're going to run back into the ocean? That's Dunkirk. That's not D-Day. Cowards. These guys are all falling back, too. Well, looks like most of that squad's dead. All right, they're coming down on the enemy flank, hopefully. Can they hit him from here? I wish there was like an assault option where you click a button and it tells them to assault a position. That feels like that would be an appropriate command for a game like this. Oh, they have pivoted their fire. I think. There's a defend command, but I don't know if there's an assault command. I don't know if fire acts as that. It doesn't look like it. Much of the firing is stopped. The squad is broken. I've lost a lot of my units here. All right, tank, move the hell up this way. You're gonna... Oh, no! What happened? No, we just lost our armor. Where did they take that shot from? Well, we regret to inform you, sir, that D-Day failed. All right, I don't know if there's still bad guys over here, but if they are, we're charging them. Somehow our strength is still much higher than the enemy, which I don't quite understand. Did we really inflict that many casualties on them? I don't think we did. But I would be happy to be proven wrong. Looks like these enemy troops are probably broken. Oh, there's the machine gun unit. Yeah, yeah, hand-to-hand -hand combat. I guess just fast move them toward the enemy, and that's the equivalent of a assault. I'd rather a command, because, you know, charging doesn't always seem to be the right tactic. Yeah, kill the guys. Just, there's one dude left. Get him. He's, he's literally walking through the trench. Dude, what are you, a jeep jockey? Hit the guy. All right, we're going to move you into the trench line. There you go. All right, so we wiped out that squad. This unit's actually in pretty good shape, so we're going to go ahead and fast move them over here. I could really use some support, I think. We're going to move them down the trench line. Quickly. Quickly, my boys. Quickly, my lads. Oh, we just took a casualty. These guys hopefully have an overwatch, maybe. Or not. Let's move him into that foxhole or that trench. A4 crew. The, M the, the Sherman crew, they probably aren't up for much, right? Oh, boy. We just took, like, three casualties over here. Oh, shit. There's still an enemy machine gun unit or something in this bunker. Yeah, how about you go assault that bunker? Don't just charge across its front. I thought they had withdrawn from there. All right, tank crew, you guys suck. Your your tank is dead, so why don't you charge the enemy machine guns? Keep them occupied for the moment. Wow, we've lost a lot of strength just in that last last little interaction there. You're coming in the rear of the bunker. There's a large number of enemy troops in here. They shouldn't be expecting you. Knock them out. Get them. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him! No, these guys are basically panicked. Get in the damn bunker. Alright, so this is close quarter fighting inside the bunker. I don't know who's winning here. It looks like our only two men left are broken. I'm sending the Sherman crew in. Oh, they're both dead! No! I had them flanked and everything. Get in the damn bunker. All my men are to die. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is to do and butcher. Or be butchered. To butcher or not to butcher. That is the question. Alright, we're trying to drive the enemy off the map. We do have one of their objectives. Their strength is greatly reduced. But so is ours. I, I can't believe our strength is still so strong. Looking along the left side... Doesn't feel like we're this strong. We're doomed. Oh, shut up. You're not doomed. We're doomed. Coward. I'm a coward. We're doomed. I shouldn't say that. I could never do this. All right. Anti-tank team is apparently, maybe they're the ones who took us out. The scouts are just like running out there on their own. Oh, these troops are all broken and running. Yeah, damn jerks. Go take this fucking bunker. I had them around the flank and everything. They should have tossed grenades. Again, that's why I would really like an assault command. Because they, they could have just tossed grenades in there and been like, Hey, buddy, enjoy this fragmentation grenade. But no. These scouts are just like running out there on their own, apparently. Mortar rounds outgoing. The only thing I have left is frickin' worthless machine guns. Even these guys are all like, these crew members are running, this rifle team is running. That's a misleading uh, strength chart there, I think. This one squad member. He's a squad leader. He's the only one left. Meanwhile, this guy is like three. It's one dude running up here on his own. Same here. This bar unit is one dude running up here on his own. Meanwhile, there's still like five or six guys in here in this bunker. Just waiting to kill the next lone guy who comes in. All right. Fast move your damn machine gun into this bunker. I don't really care. Platoon headquarters, go take the bunker. We really need to freaking take that bunker. I wonder if our artillery is actually driving these guys back. Several of these enemy units are withdrawing. Nice. That artillery round just dropped on an enemy. Meanwhile, moving back here, this lone BAR man. You are brave, sir. But you are doomed. It sounds like someone's just being, like, flogged. That's what the sound effect is. The sound effect is like a whip. Battle complete. Was that a defeat? What happened? Tell me. Axis major victory? Really? The battle ended because both sides were exhausted. You have been handed a major defeat. Your casualties were heavier than expected. Whoa! 11 KIA, 25 wounded, one armored unit killed. The enemy lost only 4 KIA, 22 wounded. They did lose one officer wounded, and they lost one gun destroyed. That is a defeat, I guess. It felt like, you know, until the very end there, the numbers were pretty even, but... Um, lo and behold, my tactic of massing on one side of the map, perhaps not the best tactic. Also, ch charging machine guns with infantry, maybe not the best tactic. As soon as our tank went down, we were doomed. I would like more than one tank. I would like to do that again with more than one tank. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this next battle in close combat, the bloody first, the D-Day landings on Omaha Beach. That probably shouldn't be an easy scenario, and I suck at this game, but it wasn't an easy scenario. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you once again for watching, and until next time, I'm out.